The Herald's at 2,500. C9's getting away. It's stolen away by CLG. The they'll grab the it, they'll get the eye, but now it's gonna be a fight. There comes Renata Zalti. There goes C9. Flash over the wall. Don't look to the back. It's already two down. Luger's ready to go. Fate, shield, double kill, Luger. So this past offseason, we explored a lot of different options, as most teams do in the offseason, and ultimately we've come to the decision to run back the same five players from our summer roster. Uh, we have a lot of faith in this group to continue pushing forward throughout the year, and ultimately it's something that we're really excited about. I'm personally just really excited to see how this unit can come together, grow, and take things to the next level. Uh, we considered making some changes to the roster. Obviously, every team in the offseason is going to explore all their different options that are available to them, and we did the same. Yeah, I think like any good sports team, we did our diligence this offseason and explored whether there's an opportunity to shake things up, make upgrades, or, or do any sorts of stuff with the roster. But ultimately, like at the end of the day, we felt like uh, there was still stuff left on the table and still room for this unit to grow. And, you know, everyone from myself and Jonathan down to our coaching staff and the players themselves are excited to see like what this same unit can do to take things to the next level, uh, particularly after the improvement we saw over the course of summer split and just the last few weeks of playoffs. Also walking all the way across the rift to join back up as he goes over the wall. The Q3's ready to do it. He doesn't have his ulti just yet, but he doesn't need it. He kills the enemy AD carry. They take the dragon at the same time. CLG is absolutely slaughtering Cloud9 here in game number four. This is that CLG style. This is how they got all their upset wins over these top teams in the regular season. Uh, throughout the offseason, a lot of our players were playing in the World's Champions queue as well as being in New York for fan meets and different activations all throughout the World Championship. Yeah, so this was a bit of a unique offseason for us since Worlds within North America. And I think uh, that means a couple things. I think one, it was super motivating for our players. And two, I think it has uh, given them a bunch of exposure to, to what it's like to experience and play at the top level. And I think the other cool part is just like, yeah, we had, we had some of the best players in the world on our soil in CQ. Uh, a couple of our players were even scrimming against some of the World Finals teams leading up to that uh, awesome last day in San Francisco. So, you know, I think it's really put us in a really good mindset to, to go into this offseason and this Korea boot camp to, to focus on improvement and like getting to that next stage. Not many teams get to run back the same five starters from one split to another. And for us, it's something that not only were we excited to do, but obviously the community is really excited for us to be doing as well. So for us, it's a super exciting opportunity to see what we can do ultimately. Yeah, I just want to get back out there. I think uh, after the summer playoffs ended, you know, we played without any regrets, but we felt like there was more that we could give and that there was more uh, for this group as a unit to to grow and, and to show. We are going to have a smite fight, it looks like, over this. Berserker still DPSing, Dragon resetting. Fudge over the wall here a little bit. They try to steal that Amumu ulti again, so and this time Palafox has it. Blabber's in the pit. The Drake's at 3k. C9 jumps Fudge over the wall, and Drake's gonna go their way as Jensen secures it. Sven tries to go in, but now you got Fox Fox the fight. They're into the back line. They go Berserker. He's down. He's gone. And C9 will yeah, So throughout fall. this year, we saw a lot of growth in our players from a playoff run that, you know, we went the distance, multiple silver scrapes. Obviously, wanted to see a little more, wished there could have been a little more, but played without regrets went into a, a series of events in New York that really energized all the players. We're looking to head into boot camp in Korea to really put that, that finishing touch on our preparation before we come back to scrimming in North America. And I think I have a lot of faith personally that our team can really make it happen. And honestly, if we don't have faith, why are we here? My food got delivered to my house. <laughs>